They told you not to speak about it. My, 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 oh my. If I don't scroop your nuples, will you scroop mine? Huh? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 146. Oh. You're not going to believe it. We got ourselves the White Sneakers Award mug. And Janice put some fluid in it for me. Mmm. Ah, yeah, baby. Does that mean it's going to be a good day today? Nope. It doesn't. You want to know why? Because coronavirus. That's why. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway. You know the drill. No, you don't, because no one watches this shit. <clears throat> um, I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneeze. So coronavirus. <laughs> we all know coronavirus is is rising up in the ranks of popularity. It said to itself, you know what? There's not enough viruses out there. You guys got them all covered. Why don't I uh, just jump out of the gate and, um, you know, spread myself across the globe? Make myself a national phenomenon. And that's what he's doing. That's what the corona's doing. So I suggest you go out there, buy yourself some toilet paper, a mask, and some coronas. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't be the person that goes to to Walmart and completely buys out the entire stock of toilet paper. I don't know why everyone's doing it, but everyone's doing it. Literally every goddamn person on this goddamn planet is going to the grocery store and buying all the toilet paper. I see no reason to do this. Yet. <sighs> but maybe someday, maybe, maybe the coronavirus is going to be so substantial that you li literally no one can leave their house. Because right now, the average person is not affected. The average person, you know, it doesn't even... It doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect them at all th through their day-to-day -day life. But then you got people like this, like these, like these lovely folks who decide, uh, I'm going to buy as much toilet paper as I possibly can. I'm sorry for this squeaky thing. This mic stand is so squeaky, I can't stop it. It's ancient technology, folks. What do you want me to do? Okay? I'm living in the fucking 1800s here. Okay, so this purse, these people, this mother and daughter are like, hey, we, 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 uh, we need all the toilet paper. Just give us all the toilet paper. This other woman's like, no, I want some toilet paper as well. And then they're like, no, we took it all. You can't have it. And so they fight over it. They literally fight over it. Pull each other's hair and punch each other. It's not the first time we've seen fights in, in, in grocery stores or Walmarts or really any retail store. But to see it happen over toilet paper because of the fact that there's a potential uh, risk of catching a virus is just a weird thought. You know, it's weird seeing stuff like this. Because I can't imagine myself ever 
uh, first off, I would never, ever just buy a full stock of toilet paper like that. And second, like, how much shitting are you doing if you need that much toilet paper? I know, I know it's because they're going to be quarantined. But still, even if you're quarantined, is just a 24-pack not good enough? <laughs> right? Like, how long do you think you're going to be quarantined for? Not only that, but then fighting over the goddamn toilet paper. Is it worth it? Why don't you just go to another store? And if they're all sold out in every store, well, then dude, there's nothing you can do about it. Get a bidet or something, you know? I don't see why people have to resort to fucking physical violence over stupid shit like toilet paper. Hey, Not one pack. Five minutes. Five minutes. All right, guys, 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 I need everyone to back off right now. Back off right now. I need everyone to back off right now. Stop. Stop. You need to get off this trolley now. You need to get off this trolley now. Look where you're I am the toilet police. <laughs> uh, you guys can't buy all the toilet paper. I'm going to stop to it right now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Corona. I was gonna do. I was gonna do something, but I might not do that. Is this what Australia is like? Yeah. I'm Australian. <laughs> I can't do an Australian accent. Because of the coronavirus, people are stocking up in case they are quarantined. The quarantine time is only 14 days. You are more likely to win the lottery than get the virus here. 85% of cases recover. Okay, the quarantine time is 14 days. You don't need that much fucking toilet paper. God um. damn it. <gasps> now, there's a there's a lot of other stuff. This th Okay, this episode of the podcast is mostly going to be centered around coronavirus. That's what all my subjects are up here. There's a few others that aren't, but the majority of it's going to be me talking about coronavirus. Oh, goodness gracious, Janice. That's some good juice. Ah. Oh. It's been... It's been a while, Janice, since you filled my cup up. It's been a while... It's been a while. So there was this clip that I would like to show. But on a, on a recent discovery, um, turns out you can't show this clip or another clip that I plan on showing today. Two clips that I had lined up and ready to talk about. Can't show them because you'll get blocked worldwide. You know, I understand, YouTube, why you do this. And maybe I'm fine with it. But it's just uh, taking away from from the freedoms that YouTube once allowed us to have, you know? And so, even though this is only a 14-second clip... I worry that my video will get claimed almost instantaneously. Uh, even Ethan on the H3 podcast, the most recent one, mentioned these two clips that I'm about to show. And he said he talked to his guy in YouTube and he said, if you show those, it's a no-nos. You'll get, you'll get benugged. And the last episode of my podcast, 
I had a clip from an old ass TV show or something of this puppet on the street with a microphone, and that is what got me blocked worldwide. So it's getting stricter and stricter every day. So the clips on this podcast may get reduced. I'll still show clips of like home video type shit, you know, where people film on their cell phone, the stuff that can't get you blocked. But as for stuff like this, like like news segments, TV show, I can, you know, you can't do that. You can't do that. Look at my wrinkly fat belly. We'll just look at my wrinkly fat belly instead of uh, clips. I'm getting Facebook messages out the hoo ha. Like who 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 decides they just who who's like I'm just gonna send you a Facebook message. <gasps> oh my god, I totally forgot about something. Oh my Jesus. We gotta do the Reddit public access network, right? Oh my Jesus. Oh my giddy aunt. Reddit public access network. We're tuning in. We're tuning in. Come on, people. How do you do it? What do you mean we'll be back soon? Now it's not even fucking working, bro. It's not even fucking working, bro. Oh my god, man. Come on, Reddit public access. Damn it! Won't even let me in. Won't even let me in! That's just fucking fantastic. Ew, what the hell is that, Janice? Ugh. Okay, she's putting particles in my juice now. Oh, I swear to God. <sighs> okay, let's just, um, so this is a clip. This CDC person, what does CDC stand for? What is CDC? CDC. What is CDC? Is that the right term? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Corona disease. CDC. Centers for Disease. This Center for Disease person is making a speech. And she's like, hey, to prevent Corona, don't touch your face, don't touch your mouth, don't touch your nose. Blah, 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 blah. Wash your hands. And look what she does. Okay, so I'm just going to scrub. Scrub, 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 shoves that finger right down her throat. No, just, she just licks, flips the page, like a normal person. Lickety boop boop. Flip it, and this guy, look at this guy in the back here. Doesn't he look like the guy from... If Google was a real person, that guy. And this girl, look at this girl. She's like, wait, something's going on here. She just licked her finger. She just licked her finger. She's licking her finger! Can't show the video, though. If you want to see it, uh, I got this from Tom Segura. He posted it, but you can find it elsewhere. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You can fucking find it somewhere, bro. You can fucking find it somewhere over the rainbow. Um, 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 yeah. This podcast is kind of shitty, isn't it? It's been. Is your meth contaminated with coronavirus? This Florida Police Department will test it for free. Yeah, so Channel 8 News, NBC. 
they put out this article that says um, the Florida uh, Police Department, a Florida Peace Police Department, wants you to know that if you have recently purchased any illegal street drugs, you can bring it to their station and get it tested for coronavirus. Ooh. Okay. Um, they, they even put out a tweet that says, Public service announcement warning, if you have recently purchased cocaine, meth, heroin, or any other street drugs locally, it may be contaminated with the coronavirus. Please bring the drugs to the police department and we will test them for free. If you're not comfortable coming to the police department, we will send an officer to your house and they will test your legal drugs in the privacy of your own home. Please spread the word. Okay. All right. I mean, what do you say about something like this, right? I mean, yes, you want to find the coronavirus wherever you can, right? But if someone has illegal drugs like uh, uh, crystal meth, <laughs> so now all of a sudden it's not illegal to have it? Right? I don't know, man. If you take that to the police department, are they just going to test it and say, no, this ain't got no coronavirus. Here's your math back. Enjoy. Or are they going to go, oh, let's test this. Oh, it, it doesn't have coronavirus. But you can't have this. So we're going to take this, and then you can go. Or uh, are they going to bring your meth in, test it, Say, oh, no, this doesn't have coronavirus. And are they going to arrest you and take your drugs? What happens if they test it and it has coronavirus? There's a lot of questions on the table here. Fuckers. <laughs> You're all fucking stupid. I hate every one of you. <laughs> oh, what is this podcast? What is this podcast? Can someone tell me? <sighs> yeah. We all know. You're a pussy. What just happened? There he is. Right hey, there. what's up, bro? Okay, man. <laughs> Wait till Saturday, bro. You're a pussy. Wait till Saturday. Wait till Saturday. Wait till Saturday. I really wasn't prepared for this episode at all, just so you know. Um, why don't we talk about, we got Ethan Klein to talk about. Why don't we talk about him? So first, I want to mention, before we get in, because I got more stuff that's coronavirus slash Ethan Klein related. But before we get to that subject, why don't we just talk about Ethan Klein and the H3 podcast specifically? Now, the last couple episodes, I was going to mention this, but I didn't, and I should have. Okay, but I, what I was going to mention is that the H3 podcast was heading rapidly in a bad direction. Okay? There was a real uh, discrepancy between the guys behind camera, being Dan, Ian, and Zach, versus Ethan and Ela, who are on camera. And, you know, it all started a while ago when uh, when Ian was on going to be a part of the dating, the Bachelor, the H3 Bachelor segment, and then he, you know, flunked out because of whatever. You know, that whole thing. And then, but even before that, I can't remember exactly where it started, but there was a huge, there was like a real negative vibe between the people behind the camera and the people on the camera. And it was and and Ethan was being viewed as a bully because he was saying shit to Ian and Dan, specifically Ian, kind of putting him down. Uh, it came across as Ian feeling uncomfortable and, you know, writing up that uh, contract, <laughs> basically stating that Ethan can't talk about specific things on the podcast ever. 
And by doing that, he will eat some mayonnaise. <laughs> this all sounds weird, but if, if you know and follow the H3 podcast, you know what I'm talking about. And so when I say I was heading down, 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 you know, uh, in the wrong direction, it was. Because we used to watch the H3 podcast just to laugh and, you know, have a good time. And I would always be excited whenever I'd see an H3 podcast episode uploaded. Okay, and then it got to a point where when I would see the H3 podcast thumbnail on on on, uh, on YouTube, I'd be like, "Oh shit, I gotta watch this," but I'm not gonna enjoy it because what ends up happening is Ethan talks about politics for too long, gets in an argument with Dan over politics for too long, gets uncomfortable with Ian for too long, and, you know, perpetuates it over and over again. Makes it go on for too long. He'll take it to an uncomfortable spot and progress to make it more uncomfortable. And it just wasn't funny. It wasn't even entertaining. It was just sitting there watching the screen saying okay move on please and Ethan was saying shit like you know he was disregarding the comments that were focused towards this he was like y'all are bullshit I don't want to I don't even want to read the comments you know he was just like completely disregarding them he was starting to become really cocky and you know Although, that was just how it was being perceived. That's not actually how it went down, because then the two podcasts ago, two H3 podcasts ago, he mentions that, you know, he's he's going to address this, and he's changing his ways, and he did. And so, I'm I'm actually, I just want to say that I'm glad that Ethan addressed this problem. He, you know, and he actually did something about it. And he's changing his ways. He's no longer talking about politics at all, which I love. You know, as much as politics can be important and they have their place, there's just certain platforms where you just don't need them there. You know, something like the H3 podcast, you go there to step away from that stuff. And so when when the podcast turns into that and that alone, then it's just, like, disappointing. But he addressed it, and the last two episodes, I must say, are a huge improvement, which I am glad to see. And it was totally unexpected, because I thought that he was just going to disregard all this and continue to head down a bad path, but no. He's heading in the right direction, and my camera is so goddamn dusty. I'm looking at it right now. It's just covered in dust because it's been just sitting here for who knows how long in the same position. I wish dust didn't exist because it's just everywhere constantly, even in my juice. I had a whole episode of this podcast where there was dust in my water. That was before I had the White Sneakers Award mug. Yes, ma'am, you can have my Slurpee. (sighs) Yeah, this episode is kind of junk. So, since we're on the Ethan Klein train, he tweeted some stuff about coronavirus. Um, this is the first thing I want to mention. Uh, so Comic-Con is going to be in Emerald City this year. Or, I guess, or, or yeah, it's going to be in Emerald City this year. Which is, uh, in Seattle. Seattle! Okay. And, you know, it's a, it's a big gathering. If you don't know what Comic-Con is, then you need to wake the fuck up. Because everyone knows what Comic-Con is. Uh, it's going to bring in over 100k people, and it does every year, okay? One of the biggest gatherings there is. 
and there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of controversy over whether or not Comic Con should actually happen because of coronavirus. You know, you got a lot, you got 100k people in one building. It's like okay, something might spread if someone has it, and it'll spread fast if it happens here. And so, um, Comic Con put out this um, this this letter that basically says we are not going to cancel Comic Con this year, but we will uh, make an exception to our no refunds ticket policy. So if you don't want to show up, you can now get a refund, and uh, you know don't have to come. But we are not canceling Comic Con. And, you know, the majority of Comic-Con fans are like, yes, this is awesome. We're so glad Comic-Con still can happen. But Ethan is against this, saying, um, Comic-Con is refusing to cancel their Seattle convention in mid-March, despite it being the epicenter of coronavirus in the USA. They are, they are bringing 100K-plus people from around the country this will be an absolute disaster if it is not stopped. CC, Emerald City Con, Mayor Jenny, and Dr. Eric Ding. Who's this? Oh, he's an epidemiologist. And when I scrolled to the bottom of this and I looked through all the comments, a lot of people disagree. <laughs> With Ethan, even this Pimp Master Broda, which is, he, this, this Pimp Master Broda fella is, is rising up. I'm seeing him everywhere now. He's doing a good job. Uh, yeah, like literally almost every comment disagrees with what Ethan is, is saying. Which, you know, happens, but I was kind of thinking, you know, at first... I, I didn't know what to think about this. And I still don't. Because at first, my initial reaction was kind of like, okay, Ethan has a good point here. But then I'm scrolling through the comments, and it's like literally everyone disagrees with him. And it's like, oh. Hmm. So should we be concerned about Corona? Or, or is, it, is it okay? I don't know. I don't know, dude. What if this happens, and what if this is the cause of the the ultimate spread of corona to everyone? What if everyone who goes to <laughs> to Comic Con gets coronavirus? What if that happens? Coronavirus is a good excuse <laughs> for hermits, you know, people who like to stay inside. They can be like. Yeah, I just don't want to go outside because I don't want to catch corona. I don't want to shake your hand because I don't want to catch corona. And they're like, I don't have corona. I don't care, dude. I don't want to shake your, your hand. It's It's just so crazy how this shit just gets around. Not the virus. I mean the the fear of the virus. Every piece of my social media, whichever one I go on to, within the first three posts I see, there's something about coronavirus. Even on like talk shows, like Whitney Cummings was on a talk show and as she was coming onto stage, you know, normally the audience is there and you can high five the audience. She was elbowing. And then she did a little hip bump to someone. Like everyone is taking precautions against this coronavirus. And yeah, I get it. But it's just such a weird time, you know? You grow up as a child. You know, um, developing how you think the world is and how you think the world is normal. 
and then you get older, and then it's not like the way it was when you were a child, so it's at a whack now. Because if you're a child growing up now, this is just going to be, you know, something that's going on. Something you're going to remember when you're older, unless coronavirus completely <laughs> takes over the planet and we all die. I don't know. And there's lots of conspiracy theories around corona. Some say that corona is orchestrated just to uh, prevent distractions in order to... I can't remember the one. There was this one really good one I saw. I can't remember because, I, yeah, I wasn't going to talk about it, but but yeah, but potatoes, you know? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, get your, uh, wash your, wash your mouth out with soap if you want to prevent corona. Uh, we got O.J. Sampson. Simpson, Simpson, you know him. He's the uh, former football player slash actor slash slasher. Okay? You know him. He's the guy known for mostly uh, killing wife. Killing his wife, right? <clears throat> Can I say that? Okay, and, you know, earlier we were talking about, you know, buying out Walmart. Here he is at Costco <laughs> with a mask on, and he's got uh, a trolley full of Charmin Ultra Soft, some bounty paper towels, three cases of water, and some Solo cups. And you know what? Whether you hate, hate OJ or like OJ, at least he understands... That you don't need more than 60 rolls of toilet paper. Okay? <laughs> He's got, like, enough. Like, this is essentially really all you would need. Unless he has, like, a bunch more behind him. I don't know. <coughs> but I don't think you would need much more than this if you're going to be quarantined, right? Ahem. <clears throat> but. <laughs> Holy fuck. A lot of people are goofing on him because, you know, the coronavirus, you got to keep your hands clean and uh, don't touch your face or whatever. And yeah, he has the the mask on, but he doesn't have gloves on. And people are goofing on him. Uh, mostly because when he was in trial, I mean, you already know this, but when he was in trial, he... he the gloves was one of the pieces of evidence used against him. And he said the glove didn't fit, and blah, 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 pretended to put it on, whatever. He is here with no gloves. Yeah, so funny. And anyway, Ethan, so Ethan says, so statistically, I may have a better chance of being killed by you than the virus. And yes, I gave it a like. Uh, but O.J. Simpson, he didn't like that too much. So he went ahead and uh, blocked Ethan. Bopity boopity. You're blocked. O.J. Simpson blocked me. Which is kind of a, you know, kind of shitty. Because Ethan loves goofing on O.J. Simpson, and I like seeing him goof on O.J. Simpson. But I'm sure he still will on the podcast. Uh, he'll just have to figure out what O.J. tweets through someone else's account, like Eliz or Dan's or someone. And O.J. also blocked... Oops. Dolan Dark. Because he said, can I get your opinion on how you got away with murdering your wife? <laughs> and he blocked him. Block, 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 block. Yeah. And this guy, little Lil Nas X, go on H3 Podcast. This guy comments on every post by Lil Nas X and H3 until Little Nas on the podcast. 
And he literally does. You see his comments every time. And it'd be nice if it works one day. Comment etiquette. You better hope nobody told him about the dark web. Why? Tell me why, dude. This is another shit episode. This is another shit episode. This is another shit. Yeah, this episode's really shitty. Last episode wasn't too bad. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed doing it and I enjoyed editing it and enjoyed watching it, but this episode's not so great. They're better when I just show clips and, like, goof on them, right? Oh, my neck. Oh, I just broke my spine. Oh, Janice. Get me a new spine. Janice. So, you might know this guy. Soar Carl, part of the Soar clan on Twitch. I'm sure you heard this, but this is the other video that I can't show. Um, the guy has... He's drunk and he's twitching. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, things were going good for this guy. Real good. And he decided he was going to whip out a, a, a gun and pretend to shoot it. Talk a little shit and pretend to shoot it. Um... But he didn't realize there was still a round in the chamber, and he and he pull, and he fired it and blew a hole right into his G fuel on the side of his desk, and it and because of that, it ruined his career. He he got uh, kicked from his sore clan. He got booted from Twitch, and what the hell else happened? I don't even know. But the guy, the guy's got to figure something out now. And I wish I could play the video, but I most certainly cannot. So he cocks it, and then he goes. See, so a round does fall out, but there's still one in there. Boom. See, he shoots his fucking G fuel. Okay. And then, you know, he's got this apology video, which I might be able to play this, but I'm not going to. But he says, don't do what I did ever. Literally, everything was going perfectly in life, and one mistake ruined everything I've been doing for a year. I cannot put into words how sorry I am and how dangerous what I did last night was. I feel kind of bad for him. I do, actually, because it was, you know, just a honest mistake obviously i think he's a little bit of a of a bimbo you know don't like even if you knew for absolutely certain that there was not a single bullet in that gun no magazine no nothing don't even show it on camera don't do it okay don't even pretend to shoot it don't even hold it and show it to the camera just leave it out Guns, guns are a fucking, you know, hot, touchy subject as it is. You don't bring them into your fucking live stream, bro. And if you are going to do it on camera, do it on something that's not live. So if something like this happens, you can edit that shit out. And no one will ever know, except for the person that heard the boom. If anyone. Right? Am I boopity bopping or what? But I still feel bad for the guy. <laughs> right. And so... Uh, what's his name? The fuck's his name? Why can't I remember his name? Uh, what the hell? Keemstar. Put out this <laughs> fucking rumor that... Carl Reamer, which is sore Carl, um, you know, on top of all this happening to him, also got a divorce. That's not true. He put he posted a tweet right here that says, uh, "Where am I? Get out of here!" Just so you guys know, 
Alicia and I are still together. I don't know who decided to start spreading that, but she's the most supportive thing in my life. She was unbelievably upset for me and still is. At least I still have her. <laughs> yeah, and you can, if you just scroll through his Twitter page, you just see how, you know, everything was going fucking perfect for him. And just this one little thing, just this, it's this one little fuck up caused his whole career to just fucking die. And we see it all the time with all kinds of people, dude. Even major celebrities. It happens so frequently. And it's, sometimes it's justified. Other times you just feel bad for the people. You know, you know what I'm saying, brother? I'm sorry for this episode. I know this was a shitty, this was a shit, shit show. Um, it'd be nice if I could just like clone myself or something <laughs> just to have someone to talk to. You know, not every episode is this shitty. Uh, you know, most times I have better material to talk about because throughout the week I just, I look through everything and I, I make a list and I, I compile it all figure out how I'm going to talk about it. Then sometimes you just start the camera up and it's like, ah, this shit's bullshit. It's not even, you know, it's not what I expect it to be. So it's, uh, you know, this, how many times do you say, you know, stop saying, you know, you know, one of these episodes is going to be better. Anyway, Oh, if you're listening to this on Spotify or Google or iTunes or something, thank you for doing that. And that is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, um, and definitely hit that bell notification because you are going to want to know when this this next episode of this piece of shit podcast is going to be uploaded. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>